Hello everyone, this is Colin from CSIS, Connecticut Cryptid Investigative Society, here on Field Investigation number 104. Uh, we're going to be doing this video from 6 feet and 5 eighths inches away. So I'm going to do that now. Definitely don't want to be near any trees or anything. Hi everyone, here we are uh, on location of all, I mean like series on location. This is our backyard. This is Dragon Rock right here. I have my two assistants, the Mary and Gouge over there. And uh, we're in quarantine like everybody else. All kidding aside, it's a no joke out there. I hope you're all prepared. I hope you're all well. Um, we got a lot of activity over here in our backyard. I've been living here about four years and uh, I've been call tapping and howling regularly since then. So I'm going to go ahead right now and give this place like a, you know, like a 3.8 on the squatch meter We're going to go ahead and go, most of the activity comes from right back here. As you see, we got Fragmighty Marsh over here. This is a filled in pond. Uh, right now I'll shut my face. We have peepers going, so let's listen to those. Maybe you can hear them. Uh, so we have insects just now appearing. The maple season's winding down. Um, so over there's all the activity. This is, if you've heard our video of, of what we believe was squatches herding deer late at night. Um, this past late winter it came from back over that way Oh got real intense around here and then drifted away over that way I didn't even know there was such a oh we got to keep my six feet and three eighths inches five eighths inches Sorry for my Todd my, my carpenter friend out there I got a tape measure with the actual numbers on it because I can't use the little lines because of course I'm a painter <laughs> And George what's up? How you doing bud out there doing your thing in Eastern Connecticut? We got a lot of activity back here. So we're gonna wrap this part up uh, live on location from Dragon Rock. Here we are. Dogs aren't a good idea if you go and squatching. I mean, some people say they are, but not these dogs. These dogs ain't nothing but trouble. They're not gonna find nothing. If they do, they're gonna howl and chase it away. Uh, there we go. A live uh, demonstration of why you don't bring these dogs squatching. This dog and the squatchometer is coming in at about like a one, like a, a 0 0.085. Yeah, not good squatching. Um, okay, so we're on the path. Hey, six feet, five eighths inches. You remember the thing. Todd, my carpenter friend, you know what I'm talking about. The lines on the, the, the tape measure. Uh, this path I built here, yeah, I got about eight billion tons of freaking wood chips down on this path. I made this path to investigate the knockings that I heard. Uh, I was already a cryptozoologist when I moved here and uh, the activity, I do believe I've increased it. We're going to try a couple of tricks. Oh, my camera person's reminding me not to turn away as we talk um, and we're keeping our distance. Um, but we're going to move on down the path. This dead tree uh, was just up a couple days ago. I don't know what to make of it. This, uh, we had a lot of high winds, so this probably fell on its own. I don't know. Uh, this is some type of evergreen tree. It's something in the pine family <clears throat> and uh, we're not going to burn it inside you don't burn pine inside we're going to burn it back here as my neighbor over here from the the horticultural center says uh, any tree outside that's dry is a gift from god for fire burning so this is to you tom over there unnamed place uh we're here in march 22nd uh, it's about three o'clock 
39 to 35 degrees. <clears throat> we got a lot of animal activity, period. Birds have been feeding birds. We got peepers going on. So it's active. We're going to get back there. I'm going to demonstrate a, a technique. If you have established, like I have with call taps, if you're crazy enough, yeah, that's right. Keep getting further back. I'm not going to turn away. Um, if you have squatch activity and you're tapping and they respond, I mean, you might as well go ahead and consider that communication, right? I'm going to hug this tree. No, no. Six. You want to you want to do like a version of a tree dance like a pole dance here? Let's see that. Poor trees. These trees take a lot. Hey, all right. The squatch meter here. Uh, you know, I told you it's it's just. All right. We're gonna demonstrate something called gifting. Well, let's do this right here. Look at this beautiful red delicious apple from Washington. I've established call taps. I got a stump right here. Random stump right here. Okay. I'm gonna put this here. That's as obvious as the day is long. That's certainly not in season. And uh, there it is. This. So the idea is that I keep doing this, this apple disappears. Of course, you're gonna say, you know, you're gonna say stuff like, a raccoon or a skunk got this. I got you. All right, we're moving along. We're gonna demonstrate gifting today. Okay, we got a lot of peepers, of course, earlier. Um, so gifting. Look at this beautiful apple I've established. Call taps. I get in call tap response howling. Of course, every time I howl, I don't get anything. I get a lot of responses in call taps. So I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave this apple here. I'm at my fire pit here. Of course, this is the coronavirus special. And again, you know, this is no joke. I'm not trying to make light of this. I hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. This ain't no joke. Some serious wilderness knowledge and uh, doomsday prepping is, is no joke and I'm not a doomsday person we're, we're in this together let's stick together let's be patient with each other let's be distant you know the cryptids they're very distant you gift it they gift it you're gonna get some if you keep doing this it's gonna become like marbles um, bottle caps Dolls, they like dolls. That's crazy. There are some dolls back here. We're gonna go find them one of these days. Not on this investigation. You don't want to try to walk across this marsh right now. Uh, it's a lot of been raining and melt. There's a lot of peepers. There's a lot of this is muck city. Anyway, we're gonna go demonstrate gifting a little further down. Gifting. I've established a line of communication with Squatch. I'm tapping, they're responding. I'm gonna to come to a place that's obvious and leave an apple or a fruit or something they can eat. Fish, people like salmon. A random animal could just take that and that's it. A squatch, if if you're communicating them, will oftentimes leave a gift like a shiny rock. It could be anything. Every time I come back, I call tap, I leave an apple or a fruit. If I get a gift back, and I do this and I can repeat this pattern of behavior. This is what cryptozoologists call gifting. I'm told definitely not to leave this apple out into the woods or I will we'll be doing a, a ghost investigation <laughs> instead. And we don't do those. A lot of paranormal groups, I give them kudos, but it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Any cryptid. Let's listen to the peepers for a minute. So 
this is dense. Back there is nothing. I was back there one time. Uh, I'm told the camera person I was talking about the dolls that I found back there far in the woods. There is no trail or nothing. I just followed this. You see the water? There's another pond back there. There's two ponds. There's a small one up here and a big one back there. And I went back that way and I got about two miles back and I found toys. Uh, boys toys like plastic dump trucks and some dolls. And, and okay, dolls. Those dolls in the woods. Yeah, I'm gonna give that like a 7.4 on the squatchometer because that was just messed up. And you know, I'm, I'm being asked to investigate that. I don't even know if I can find it again. But back that way, there's dolls in the woods, dolls and toys, children's stuff, it's messed up. Um, anyway, here we are. We get a lot of activity, beavers and peepers. Uh, investigating cryptids is, is about getting outside to these places. Your state forests, your parks, try to avoid people. Listen, hey, we started avoiding people from the beginning of CSIS, so <laughs> this is nothing new to us. We're even avoiding trees. Hey, don't get too close to me, all right? Shout out to my friends Dean, new to the group. Everybody that's new to the group, um, welcome aboard. You, you could do your own videos and, and you know just check with us, edit them, and post them. We're gonna do some call taps later tonight when it gets dark. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up right now. So we are on location in Ivy Mountain, Litchfield, Connecticut, somewhere our backyard uh, social distancing at its best there's our there's our come here I got the assistant my mighty assistant coming here with some news did you find something come here did you find something uh, he didn't find anything what he's communicating to me is uh that he chased something away so not a good, not not the greatest assistant to have with you, but we're having fun there <laughs> during a coronavirus special. It's no joke, everybody. Take precautions, stay safe. We're gonna keep you entertained on our various um, social media sites. Oh, oh, hey, gonna trademark social distancing media sites. See you soon. Investigation number 106 coming up somewhere, probably back here. All right, so here we are. Just another shot of our uh, backyard here in Ivy Mountain. And uh, you see my dog assistant over there chasing things away. There's the water. Water ha always has activity. We've got Phragmites over here. We're just, you know, deep in the muck over here. This is real qualified. This is good muck. Um, so there's all kinds of animal tracks. We're just reminding you to Feel free to share your experiences, your stories, anything you want to post. There's, look at, there's my assistant out there scaring away anything. <laughs> and we're just out here having fun. It's a, it's a warm, nice spring day, and we're talking about gifted on location. All right, so I was, you know, I guess it's okay to leave the apple. So we've been out here a while. Of course, it's really nice and wild back here. We're going to leave this apple here. And we're going to leave the gift here. I'm going to put it away a little bit away. There's the gift. That's soapstone. Nice Connecticut snow soapstone. And here we have put rotten apples in our compost. And they haven't touched them. So the, uh, the camera person said, hey, leave a nice, beautiful, fresh apple. And we'll see if this if something doesn't say there's my gift it's right there conveniently located for me let's make it one squatch arms length away this is a person's arm away one human uh, there we go there we go governor who shut down the state thank you whatever maybe not thank you whatever um we're gonna gift this apple and come back tomorrow see what happens
got nothing better to do, you might want to try this knucklehead stuff yourself. <laughs> Scare up some monsters um, that will knock on your door now and then run away. That's what's been happening here with Caesar. Not call tapping, we got knocking on the door. All right, gifting this beautiful red delicious apple. There's the gift. We'll see what happens tomorrow.